What is going on guys? Grave here. And today I'd like to do something a little bit different on the channel. Back when I first started YouTube, I did a series called Tech Talk where every week I would talk about tech, gaming, that kind of thing. I kind of wanted to bring this back, but change it up just a bit and kind of just do some general gaming news from the week. Not every week will I be able to do this because, you know, not every week is going to have big gaming news. But a lot of weeks, you know, we get a lot of information out there. I know a lot of people, you know, work, have kids, go to school, whatever the case may be. So they're not caught up on everything. So I kind of want to just do a, a weekly kind of gaming news thing, you know, do it once a week, you know, once a month, every couple of weeks, whatever the case may be. And I usually just throw some random gameplay in the background. I did this in the past, so today it's going to be Ghost of Tsushima. Let me know if you like this kind of video, if you would like to see more of these kind of gaming news, this kind of information. And I will be sure, you know, to keep uploading these, you know, be able to kind of know if you guys enjoy this kind of content here on the channel. The first thing well, I'd like to talk about today, of course, uh, kind of from this week in gaming would be the Xbox release date and price point being revealed. Everybody's been wanting to know when these new consoles are going to come out. Everybody's been wanting to know what the prices are going to be. There's lots of speculation to begin with that the prices were going to be extremely high, like 600 plus for new consoles. Well, these got leaked by accident on purpose. Who knows exactly? But Microsoft decided to come out and give a release date of November the 10th for the new Xbox and a price point for two different versions of the new Xbox. The Xbox Series S, which will be kind of a smaller, uh, not quite as techy version, you know, something that's not going to have quite all the bells and whistles, but still be a very good console. The price point for it was, of course, $299. Then the X, uh, Xbox Series X is going to cost around $499. And of course, both of these prices are here in the U.S. Now, both of these consoles, you know, they have talked about the new Xbox Series X being one of the strongest consoles the most powerful consoles ever made. And I was really surprised to hear that it was only going to be $499. I was expecting a lot higher price, if you want me to be honest. But I thought it was really uh, awesome that they have come out with a smaller, cheaper version. Like I said, you know, it's going to have a little bit less specs in it. It's not going to be quite as powerful as that Series X. But the Series S for $299 was really just what shocked me about this whole kind of reveal. I, I think the Series S is going to be a good... Uh, console for a lot of people that may not get to play a lot that may only play just a game or two and if you're looking to buy a new console and you're not really concerned about you know having a, the best specs but having a really good console this Xbox Series S at $299 I think will be a pretty popular um, uh, console just for like I said for play, people that want to play but don't get to play all the time or maybe only just play a handful of games also with this they did announce that they will have a payment program and of course this shows you kind of the times we're in you know with the whole covid situation not everyone's getting to work not everyone's been able to work all the whole year this year and i think this kind of shows you that they understand that you know that's why they kind of went with cheaper prices i'm not sure exactly how they're going to make money off these consoles you know usually they say the consoles is not what makes the money you know it's usually the like xbox live or ps plus the games all this kind of stuff that you know kind of goes with it is where they make their money but they also decided they were going to go with a monthly payment program, which I think is, is very a very good idea considering, like I said, maybe not everyone has the, the money just to fork out for the console all at once. So their monthly pay payment pro program, excuse me, I'll get it out here in a second, is going to be offered in 12 countries. Depending on what version you buy, if you buy the Series S, it'll be $24.99 a month. If you buy the Series X, that will be $35 a month. This will be a 24-month program, so you're going to have to pay for this for two years. But this will include your con the price of the console and also uh, the Xbox Game Pass, which of course you know has old games, new games, all that kind of stuff in it. And they did announce coming with the Xbox Game Pass is going to be the EA Play Pass, which used to be something separate you had to buy on Xbox. You know that had EA games in it. Now that Xbox Game Pass and that EA P Play Pass will be together, so you will get uh, for that prices for the prices that I told you the twenty four ninety nine or the thirty five dollars you will get to pay for that console by the month and get that uh, Xbox Game Pass included. And like I said, if you don't have the money to pay for the console up front, that's not really a bad deal in my opinion. I, I'm, ass I'm assuming when we hear from PlayStation about the price points and things like that of the new PS5, we'll probably get something like this from PlayStation as well, I would have guessed. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I also did hear some other companies uh, across the uh, U.S. anyway, like GameStop and things like that, are going to do these separate payment programs not exactly what Xbox is doing, but kind of the same concept, just in case, like I said, you cannot just fork out the money for the console all at once. Some other things that got announced this week was a date change for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. When I first heard this, I was kind of worried they were going to delay it, but they actually decided to bump up the release date of Assassin's Creed Valhalla to November the 10th. 
It was uh, supposed to release on November the 17th, but they decided to do this on November the 10th, so it would be releasing the same day as the Xbox is. And of course, a lot of the gameplay we've seen of Assassin's Creed Valhalla has been on the new Xbox. So this was a pretty good idea considering they have delayed Halo. That way they have a big AAA title that's going to release the same day as the Xbox Series S and the Series X. So if you are looking forward to playing Assassin's Creed, if you'd already pre-ordered it like on Xbox One, they say you can go ahead and upgrade to a new gen version if you're planning on getting the Xbox on release day. You can upgrade your Assassin's Creed Valhalla copy to one of the new gen versions for free. Also, they talked about this week uh, Watch Dogs. And of course, Ubisoft had their you know, kind of digital event yesterday. They talked about Watch Dogs coming out, of course, on October the 29th on old gen. New gen release date for it will also be November the 10th, the same day that the Xbox Series S and C Series X are released. Of course, you can upgrade from a, a free upgrade from the old gen version to the new gen version of Watch Dogs as well, or Watch Dogs Legion. Uh, they also talked about it will be released on PlayStation. Of course, we don't have the date for it because we don't know the PS5's release date just yet. Some other news this week that was a, kind of a big deal was, of course, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. This is going to be some of the older Mario games like Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario 64. This, of course, is going to be coming to the Switch for 60 bucks. The interesting thing about this, Nintendo has decided to have this out, but only out until March the 31st of 2021. So if you want to get your hands on this, you're only going to have a small time frame between now and March the 31st of 2021. We have switches here at my house. We have two. My daughter and my wife both have one. They are looking forward to this, but it is going to release on September the 18th. So here in the next you know, couple days to a week, this will be out. But from what I've heard, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, kind of excitement about this. It's selling out in a lot of places like the uh, disc versions. We did find a version uh, or a copy of this on Amazon here in the U.S. So if you're interested in playing this, you might want to go ahead and, and find you a copy of it before it's gone because some of the games they've done this with in the past for Nintendo where they have these small release frames, you were not able to find some of these games after the first couple weeks or month that it was released. And of course, one other thing that was talked about yesterday that, uh, that was kind of mentioned in Ubisoft's digital event was the game Skull and Bones. Now, this game was announced back in E3 of 2017. It was supposed to be kind of a pirate-based game on the open water with the ships and all that kind of stuff. And it was something that I was kind of interested in, but I really had forgotten about because it had been so long. It had been delayed so many times. Well, they stated yesterday it's delayed again. They did not give a release date. They said they had a new vision for the game, so I'm not sure if they're starting all the way over or what the case is. But that was just something I want to let you guys know about because it was a game that I was kind of interested in seeing what it kind of turned out to be. And now we've kind of got some news that it's just really kind of been scrapped and I'm guessing starting kind of over completely. Also, Ubisoft announced yesterday that Prince of Persia Sands of Time will be remade and it will be released in 2021. No specific date on that yet, but Prince of Persia Sands of Time was a really good game in my opinion. It was very enjoyable back in the day and I'm kind of interested to see what the remake is going to look like. And last but not least, of course, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer was revealed this week. There's tons of information here on the channel about that uh, if you guys want to check that out. But I'm definitely looking forward to the beta in October. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about this week's gaming news. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.